to steal. Your health has been eradicating. can gamble naked and poor people can lose hope in the buff. It is written, chapter 23, verse 5 of my book, he that gambles his money away is a fool, but he who believes in me will go to spend eternity in space with other affluent, well-to-do people. It's that simple. Do what I say and you won't have to think for yourself. Oh, but I think it is. Do we look around? Nudie clubs, discos, drinking. Do people want to be moral? Can you legislate morality? Can we tell people how to live their lives? Absolutely. Yes, of course I can. Just look at prohibition or, or the cultural revolution in China. We can learn a lot from history. Chairman Mao or Stalin, they purged their lands of degenerates and intellectuals, the scum of the earth, in my book. And look at the great societies they built. People want to be told how to act. And most people are idiots. So that's exactly who my teachings appeal to. This lawless, permissive society has no boundaries, and without boundaries, how do you know where the limits are? You have to know what's good and what's evil. You need someone to tell you so. Single moms have obese kids, it's a fact, while rich people have a lot of guilt, unnecessarily, in my opinion. I agree. I don't think these people understand just how hard it is to potty train. You have to give a treat when Precious makes a poopy. My kids are big boned and they eat prunes every day. But that's what's wrong with this country. All of this emphasis on being thin and healthy. When my children are hungry, I hand them a spear and send them out to the park to catch their own food. They're learning how to be self-sufficient. Yesterday, my youngest, Jono, killed the postman, but at least he was trying. So I gave him a cuddle, I told him to hit daddy next time he comes home late smelling of cheap perfume. Okay. It's time to take a break before we hear about any more criminal acts against government employees. You're listening to Pressing Issues. Morality is...